Hey guys, Ray from Kinsman here. We are bringing you something new today. We are doing a shootout. So we'll do May shootouts here at the channel, but we decided it was high time because we got our hands on an OCD version two. Now, if you guys don't know this, I have a version one, a really early one, and there's a funny story behind it. When it first came out, I was blown away. I had never heard anything like it, and I had to have it. So release day comes, and I'm actually on the road with the jazz band. And as I'm traveling through the airport, literally running to flights, um, I'm yelling out my credit card number for the whole terminal here so that Music Toys could get me one of the very first OCDs. I love this thing. It stayed on my board for a very long time. And I think you're going to be really surprised with the version 2 because, you know, sometimes version 2s come out, eh, they're okay. But this one really does not disappoint. So let's take a listen. i tell you what I'm doing first. Playing my 97 McCarty. Plugged into a Fulton Web, which is an EL34 uh, amp, and that's going into a 212. Now, when we recorded this, what we wanted to do was we wanted to give you a different flavor. So what we did, we did a 65 Fender Bassman straight into a 412, cranked, and just rocking and rolling uh, with a Les Paul. So a couple different sounds going on, but that's that's mainly for you guys to, to hear how it reacts with different things. All right, so this is my clean tone. <laughs> So not like super clean, but pretty sparkly. I like it. So let's check out the version one. Let's hear version two. Pretty cool sounding. Let's uh, let's play some chords. So I'm in the low peak mode. So low peak is a little bit less aggressive, a little bit more saggy. Um, very similar, actually exact same settings, toned right in the middle. One thing that you're gonna notice is that the original OCD version one is gonna have a little less juice than the version two. You don't really need to uh, crank the version two to get to the same level as version one, all right? Let's switch to high peak and I'll show you a little bit of what we did for the track in the beginning. Switching them both to high peak, cranking that just a hair. Let's turn it down, might be a little bit loud. That was version two, this is version one. Which one do you like best? Uh, I, I don't want to give my opinion just yet. Let's uh, let's play a little bit more with that. Clean tone, version one. Going to version two. So as you can tell, those clear notes, especially with the open ringing string, those kind of things, they really shine with the sing. And that was one of my favorite things to do, was hit a double stop beyond the 12th fret and just hear that dive bomb of the actual frequencies. Let's try it out. Whoa, do you hear that? Just going all the way down, let's check version two. Whoa. Just crazy cool. I love it when a pedal does that. Uh, just because, it, you know, the balls that it gives to things. All right, let's crank these things for one last sound between the two. And then I'll give you guys some final thoughts. This is cranked. I'm not going to go all the way. No need to go all the way right now. Clean tone, version one. Version 
to. <laughs> a little squeal for you guys there. Um, yeah, really cool. They, they excel when you just pump them. You know what I mean? So if you're looking for something just over the top gnarly, I really suggest checking them out if you haven't checked out an OCD. Now, personal preference, I really didn't want to admit it, but the version two just, I really like it a lot. It does a lot of things really, really well, whereas the version one does them really well. Version two just takes it up a notch. And one thing that I've noticed about Mike from Full Tone is that when he redoes something or revamps something or says that a new version is coming out, I've never been disappointed. I've always noticed that he's actually doing something different. He's not just trying to regain some leverage or some, um, some running room for his pedals. He's actually looking at what makes those pedals tick and sometimes just reworking them from the ground up and bringing something new to the table. So I really suggest checking them out. This is not a plug. We didn't get these pedals for free, um, but we really do love these pedals. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like and a subscribe. Check out our uh, newly revamped website at kinsmanmusic.net. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon because we got something new in the mail. You guys want to see a peek? All right, I'll give you a peek. I'll give you a peek. Ugh. Boom. Love pedal Dover Drive. Now, uh, this is gonna be really gnarly. I previewed it the other day and wow, this is gonna be really sick. We also have something coming in from the fine folks at Origin. So I'm pretty sure you know what that is. And just a lot of cool, exciting things coming up, new music coming up. Uh, stay in touch with us. We love to get to know you guys and to uh, just have some community. So. We'll catch you guys soon. This is Ray from Kinsman. Take it easy.